chocolate fudge sauce. Did I get your attention? Probably, because everybody loves this stuff. But unfortunately, most store-bought jars just don't taste very good. They're overly sweet, they're too thick, and they have no chocolatey flavor. But lucky for us, Elle is here today to show us how easy it is to make a good one at home. That's right, and we're decidedly out with the old, gloppy, over-sugared fudge sauce, mm -hmm. but in with the new, easily pourable and reheatable chocolate sauce. I like it. And we're gonna start with three ounces of unsweetened chocolate. Unsweetened chocolate. We've chosen unsweetened because we wanna control the sugar content of the sauce. That makes sense. We tried more than three ounces, a little less than three ounces, but three ounces gives us the perfect flavor and texture. Okie doke. And we just need to chop this chocolate with our serrated knife. The serrated parts go through the chocolate more evenly than a straight edge blade. That looks great. Now that we've got our chocolate taken care of, we can start making the base of the sauce. Okay, not a lot of ingredients here, I like that. A good fudge sauce doesn't need a whole lot of ingredients. We have two thirds cup of whole milk, one and a quarter cup of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna put it over medium low heat. We tried this recipe with granulated sugar, confectioner sugar, brown sugar, and even corn syrup. But we found that granulated sugar just does the job. And it has the right texture. Yes. So we're just gonna whisk this until the sugar dissolves, and that'll take about five to six minutes. We'll know it's ready because it starts to bubble around the edge of the pot. All right. All right, so it's been about five minutes, and as you can see, it's bubbling. Mm-hmm, the sugar's dissolved. At this point, we're gonna add a third cup of sifted cocoa powder. Now, I know you're probably thinking it's a lot of chocolate on chocolate, but this cocoa powder is gonna add that depth of rich chocolate flavor. All right, so sifted after you measure it, and why do you sift it? Well, we sift it because we wanna get all the lumps out, we wanna make sure that it breaks down evenly in the milk. So a third cup is the perfect amount because any more than that would cause our chocolate to have a chalky flavor. Mm, yeah, because yeah. it's a dried ingredient. All right, so I've taken this off of the heat. I'm just gonna add our three ounces of chopped chocolate and let it melt. Starting to melt, I'm just gonna keep stirring and the residual heat in that liquid will melt the chocolate perfectly. Mmm, that looks good. Oh yeah, it's not quite done yet. We have to let it sit for three minutes. Just to allow the flavors to melt? That's right. Okay, so we've got our ice cream out. So let's finish the sauce. I'm just gonna give it a whisk to make sure that chocolate's completely melted. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of chilled unsalted butter. I'm gonna emulsify. This butter is gonna disperse fat droplets throughout the sauce. It's gonna give it more body and a nice texture. And at the end of it, a little gloss, so it's a win-win. And chilled is important if you want emulsification to happen because it happens slowly. And finally, for a little bit of flavor, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. What I like is that this makes a lot of sauce because you said you could make it ahead and reheat it. Yeah, you can store this in your fridge for up to a month and just reheat it in the microwave. Ooh, hot punch to order. Easy peasy. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right, you ready for some ice cream? Am I? Shall I do the honors? Please, and don't hold back. Okay, I won't. <laughs> it's not overly thick. It's pourable, but it clings to the ice cream. Oh, wow. Mm. It's so rich. Oh. This is what hot fudge sauce should be. It's such a deep chocolate flavor, but it's not overly sweet, and it's not chewy. Do you ever have those ones that are almost, <laughs> they're almost just a candy, and you can chew through it? Yes. This is like a proper sauce. Well done. Thanks. To make the ultimate chocolate fudge sauce, start by heating sugar and milk on the stove top, then add cocoa and unsweetened chocolate. Finish with butter and vanilla and bring on the ice cream. So from America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, the ultimate recipe for dark chocolate fudge sauce. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.